Hey guys, Danny Boy here, and today I have a tablet that's called the Lightbook Mars, and this is an e-ink tablet, and what I want to discuss in this video is the speed of this tablet, you know, how good is it, how usable is it for daily usage, let's get into this now. Okay guys, so... As I said, I have the Lightbook Mars here, and what I want to do in this video is kind of do a speed test, see what we're dealing with here. Um, now, for those who do not know, this is an e-ink Android tablet. It's got a 7.8 inch uh, e-ink display at 300 ppi. It's running Android 6. Now, it does have the Google Play Store, so you are able to download, you know, regular apps from there, as I've done a little bit. I mean, since it's an e-ink tablet, it's kind of strictly for reading, um, so that's not really, um, you know, I don't really have it for any much anything else so um now i do have nova launcher on here and obviously i purchased that from the google play store their launcher that came on this let me see if i can bring that up here um i just wasn't really uh super impressed with that I gotta see how to get to the settings. Yeah, there we go. So, um, let's see, home. I'll switch back to their factory launcher here a second. It wasn't that the factory launcher wasn't fast. Okay, it's not that. It's just it's not my cup of tea. I wanted it to feel like an Android tablet. And with their factory launcher here, you know, they got a quote of the day. Um, I guess that's a usage graph. Some apps here and then some books you can uh, download. Um, that's your app drawer there. I mean, so it's it's all right, um, but it's just not really what I was going for with it. So that being said, let me go back and switch it back. Uh, this is actually here. Let's see, is that? This is actually the settings for the launcher. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, there is a lot of customization with that. But what I'm trying to do is get back to the main settings here. If I can figure out how to do that. But as you can see, the purpose of this video is to demonstrate the tablet speed. And as you can see, this tablet is pretty fast for an e-ink Android tablet. I mean, I've been pretty impressed. I'm not sure how to get back to the settings. Let me try going. Yeah, this will do it. I like that recent apps um, button there, you know, or, or the apps that you have open. That's pretty hot, as you can see there. So even with all these tabs open, these apps open, it's still going pretty fast. I'll go ahead and clear everything out, okay. Now I believe... Um, this has an octa-core processor. I'm not sure what the brand, you know, what company made that processor. And I believe it has two gigs of RAM. Okay, 
But here again, I don't think you would buy this tablet to watch YouTube videos, okay? That's not the purpose of this tablet. The purpose of this tablet, obviously, is to read. So, um, speed test. So, as you can see, things happen pretty fast. Um, let me open up the Bible app here just to get an idea. Now, loading up a new app from scratch, it does take a second, okay? As you can see here, it's not no Snapdragon 855 or 835 even. It's going to take a minute. Okay, that's just the way it is. Um, but the trade-off here is having this type of display, obviously. I much more prefer an e-ink display when I'm reading versus, like, a, a typical AMOLED, you know, on an Android tablet or an iPad or whatever. I just find this to be much more enjoyable and it's better for your eyes, right? It just, if it's a different experience. It's the closest thing digitally that you can get to paper, okay? So, my ultimate preference is a real hard copy of a book, and that's what I do um, when I'm reading a book, usually. Um, I don't really use this to read an entire book. It's more just like the Bible, and some files and notes that I have on different subjects, maybe a Wikipedia article. It's more for that, but obviously you can download, like say, the Amazon Kindle app and use it for that. But, uh, Sorry, what device? well, so as we can see, Sorry. So, let's look at Firefox here. That was my Echo Dot, by the way. Okay, so here it's loading up a New York Times article that I was reading. And as you can see, it's just really beautiful in its presentation. I downloaded Firefox because it has the reader mode up here that you tap that puts the article on a nice, clean, streamlined format, okay? Now, see, it's trying to load a video there, but I've never watched a video on this. Um, it's definitely not fast when it comes to video, if it will even load a video at all. I've never waited around to see. I'm sure it probably would. Well, maybe not. So, see there, it's not, you know, it's just not for that, really. Um, go back here. Um, load up the Play Store. Now, it's definitely a beautiful thing that this tablet has the Play Store. If it didn't have the Play Store, I don't think I would have bought it by any means. Uh, because you got to be able to download certain apps. And that's kind of why I got this versus a Kindle or a Nook, was because I wanted the ability to download Android apps. I didn't want to be, um, and maybe you can on certain Kindles, I don't know, but I didn't want to be kind of closed into their software um, and not be have the freedom to, to use it how I want to use it. Um, and that's pretty much what it all comes down to is freedom. So here, I mean, guys, it's definitely usable, but you, if you don't have any patience, nah, this is not the device for you because it is, you just kind of got to be patient with it, but you will get done what you want to get done. Um, so... And that's the other thing. I keep trying to swipe up like it's an iPhone and the navigation buttons are right here. Um, so you can kind of get a feel for the speed with all this. Here goes Wikipedia. 
So, you know, to load up an app, you're looking at, you know, three to five seconds. Um, it's nothing horrible, but it's just you got to have the patience. So, that's it, guys. Um, hope you got a feel for the speed there. Um, it doesn't really seem to change the speed much, whether you're using Nova or the factory launcher, but, I mean, it might be a touch faster with Nova, but hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. As always, if you're enjoying my videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I know this one's a little different than the usual phones I do. And then, of course, hit that thumbs up button. But for now, guys, peace out.